On the letter, on the letter, there's a, there's a list, but there's a, such a long list on the media. But if I would have um, given him the list, I would be, um, what do you say, plain devil's advocate because um, there's no way he's going to, and of course he's going to come, oh, I've done um, three out of your list, and that list is about 44 um, issues long. So how are you hoping that he would respond to your because letter at this one, point? The main ones, the main ones, which I, I've requested them change in, in the way his government are handling the many issues. But I've asked for two immediate responses, right? One is a free line for the um, appointment telephone. When you call the GHA and you, um, uh, you're waiting and it just says there's 30 in the queue, please hold the line. And when you get to 30, they say, sorry, no more appointments left, right? You're left with a 10 pound bill or more, or you're left without credit, right? So I want him to do a free phone service, like the 111, where somebody can call for an appointment and he doesn't have, and they all don't have to pay any charge for calling. And the second one is, right, the treaty. That is the most important, the deals and no deals and all that, the treaty, I want him to come out publicly stating that when it comes uh, for ratification to the House of Parliament, that if it's not voted unanimously, the 17 elected members of Parliament are not in favour, all in favour of it, he would, wouldn't accept it. We don't want the government majority passing it through and shoving it down our throats. If there's a majority, right, then he has to put it to the people of Gibraltar to decide. Your demonstrators were chanting this evening, no to Frontex. Is that your official position? No, that's the, they were, were made up of three different groups, or four different groups tonight. One, um, I, I can't remember the name, right, but one is um, Voice of Gibraltar, who are not against the deal, they're against a bad deal, the same as me. I'm against a bad deal, not against a deal. But the, the group you've heard tonight, they're against any deal. Can I just ask you, you said that there would be many more demonstrations. Are you prepared to sit down with the Chief Minister and go through some of the issues that concern you? Yes, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to sit down um, with anybody. You know? I'm, I'm doing this mainly for the people of Girota. And is there a deadline that you've given the Chief Minister? No, no, there's no deadline whatsoever. Except, um, not even for those two immediate. I've said immediate, right? Immediate could be a month or more, because I know these things take time. He's got two years to change the way um, his government have been handling the many issues. I mean, everybody, I mean, I'm sure his team of um, um, tech, high tech thing. No, I've seen all those deals. The same as um, you know, many other people have seen the deals. There's a list. There's a list of tra traffic issues. These mo mo these um, e-scooters. Nothing has been done about it. You know that is a problem to many people in Gibraltar because they're not insured. They have an accident and you stay with the damage. Nobody pays for the damage. Okay, so to close off, you're happy with how the demonstration went? Yeah, I'm happy with the, with, with the way the demonstration went. I would have been happier if we would have had a lovely day, right? Well, that's put some people off. And we've got a football match. You brought her playing at seven o'clock. Um, the under 19s are playing a qualifier. And that also has um, put off many people. It's put off uh, Marlene Hassan from adjoining because her son is, play, is the goalie and she told me she couldn't are you, make it. Are you disappointed with the lack of opposition MPs here? Yes, yes. I'm, I'd like to thank personally Edwin Regis for coming. He's the, the old war horse of the Gibraltar opposition and um, I thank him. I was told that um, Mr Phillips was going to be here but we didn't see him or nobody um, pointed him out to, him, to me. But the people of Gibraltar um, this, um, are happy that our elected representatives were not there. I'd like to thank Mr. Picardo for coming because I was told he wasn't going to be here because he was going to fly out to Scotland for this um, COP um, convention. But um, it, it really surprised me that he was here because he gave me no reply. 
you know, I'd like to thank him personally, but um, like I say, we, we the people of Gibraltar want change in the way many issues uh, are not being handled correctly, like community care.